What's up guys? Today we are back with another unboxing video. Today we have the uh, Shark Navigator. It is the Swivel Plus. And we're gonna go ahead and jump right into this unboxing. Now, this was a gift from my mother actually for Christmas because I was long without a vacuum. So I was stuck borrowing one from my friend's lovely mother. And speaking of my friend, uh, his name is Chase Stickdorn. I'd like to go ahead and introduce yourself to the camera. Hello, I am Chase Stickdorn. I am part of the unboxing crew. And we are now known as the Hawker Boys. We're over here at 149. All right, so first we get the uh, actual base of the vacuum. So we'll go ahead and set this down for now. We get an attachment, could be useful. Now, if you notice, there is a lot of this uh, cardboard packaging. That's a, uh, that's a sign of a, of a very well protected product. Now up here we have the, uh, seems to be the actual vacuum itself, with a decent sized uh, tank. I must say, so we'll go ahead and attach this down onto the actual vacuum base. Simple setup. And <laughs> Here we have the handle for moving the vacuum around. The last attachment, you see it's got brushes on it to kind of get into the cracks of whatever. We'll set that aside. We will set this over here. Check. Let's go ahead and start unwrapping stuff. Now this does come with some sort of screwdriver or extra screw. Let's see what that is used for. Looks like for tightening something on, just for backup. All right. So this should click right in. Oh, the screw is actually used to hold it in place. How convenient. Good thinking. Okay, so you, uh, where are we at? you take this screw right here and you, there's a hole for it on the side of the vacuum, right in there. I'm pretty sure you just twist it on there. Let's move this out of the way. You just twist it. Probably need some sort of flathead screwdriver. Good thing we brought we the tool one set. Placed here conveniently. Oh, I didn't know you already took it out. Just gonna go ahead and torque that down until it's uh, pretty tight. And this all, all can be done at home, right? Be. Explain to them how, how uh, easy this is to you know assemble. What? This is my first time assembling a vacuum cleaner, and I'd say I got it done pretty well. I mean, if you can see for yourself, it looks great. It was put together properly, and all within a matter of two minutes. How could you go wrong with this thing? Now, uh, let's go ahead and see what this little guy does. Oh, it looks like you can attach this little doodad and uh, as you can see it swivels in that motion it does go a full 360 degrees this is convenient for getting in those cracks of the couches just like that or better yet say you're getting your couches cleaned put down some soap just vacuum it right off that is a great tool to have all right, so let's go ahead and pop this back. Remember to always take your filter out of the sweeper if you are going to suck up any water or any kind of heavy debris. It'll just save you in the future. Do keep that in mind, please. Hey, that uh, connects around the other way and goes to that piece down there. He knows what he's doing, but he just, see, he forgets a lot of things and we, we try to tell him, but he just gets very forgetful. Explain to them about your forgetfulness. Well, it's not that. It's just I'm new to this whole vacuum thing, you know. This is my first We time haven't done this for long, the vacuum yeah, this is building. this my first time owning a new vacuum like this. So it's kind of kind of new to me, you know. I'm, I've got no clue what to do with this. This seems to be a big issue. Oh, oh. Okay, look at this. So you plug this right here up into that. 
that is a neat quirk. Just like that. And uh, pretty sure this gets wrapped around this way. That is neat. And neat. Cuts around like that. Clean. Neat. Yeah, not a bad feature. Okay. Why don't you just fire this puppy up? Well, show him how it run. runs. Well, the cord for this is actually, you guys might be interested in this. It's got a super long cord, as you can see. So this is perfect for if you've got a big living room or just a big open space that you'd like to get cleaned up. Because this thing can stretch out pretty far. So that is one plus. Yeah, we've definitely got some length on this, I'll tell you. That is some length on that cord. That's longer than most cords. Oh, yeah. This is definitely longer than your most average backing cord. Let's go ahead and plug this in right over here. Now we'll give it a good. All right, so we're all plugged in. Let's go ahead and kick her on and see how she sucks. Yeah. Now that is a nice vacuum. Is that customer satisfaction? I, seriously, I am satisfied. You know what? If I were a customer, I would definitely be satisfied with this. I mean, you can't go wrong with it. It's got some suction power too. I mean, look at this. Look at the difference in the carpet. You can definitely see where it cleaned it up. Wow. Neat. Now, it did miss some uh, thicker debris that we have here. Not sure what this is, but we'll go ahead and put this aside. Put it aside. Now we'll, we have we'll deal with the, it later. Uh, attachments here. We'll go ahead and give these a try. This one looks like it's got some sort of felt over it. That is a nice attachment. That could be good for. What do you say? Yeah, that's a super nice attachment. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure this wand comes out. Oh, okay. So you gotta pop this bad boy out right here. Do you pop that onto the other well, end? Let's see how this works, actually. See, we're we're not ones to read owner's manuals. We just kind we're, of uh, do it. We're kind of new to this. We so haven't built a vacuum tabs ever. Tabs to remove hose. Now, what's this for? Brush roll indicator. Okay, so this is for the brush. We are not using the brush. Well, we're maybe that's why we didn't have any suction. Well, no, we are using this. We so keep man. This attached. All right, and now we can use the wand. Wow, okay, that so is a wand. Is give it the old swapperoo if you want to use the uh, base the brush roll vacuum. indicator. Brush roll indicator. So we're gonna go ahead and take this attachment and move the vacuum over here. And I must say, it's very light, so it's great for uh, carrying around and transportation. Method, transportation. Say you work and you have to clean places for a living, it'd be great to carry around with you. Yeah. Let's uh yeah. Let's go ahead and flip this on. Lots of suction. Let's some suction to it. And we'll uh, see what we can do here. Wow. You can shark see that the dust is already flying through this brand new shark vacuum. How much shroud looks like here? Yes. If you look, the damage, it's pretty dusty in here. Obviously you're not gonna be able to tell very well. But also, get a shot of you running right through here. This is going to show the true immense power of this vacuum. It is just life changing, I would say. That is a big difference. What would you, uh, if you were to rate this vacuum on a scale of 1 to 10, what would your rating be? Uh, I would definitely give it. A solid uh, 6.5 out of 10. You know what? It's a good cheap vacuum if you're looking for something fun, easy to use. I think the, uh, what's this called again? The Shark Navigator Swivel Plus would definitely be a good choice for you. And that's agreeable. It's affordable. It's just an overall nice vacuum. And we, we would say it works well. I, I mean, you've seen it in work. You've seen it. You've seen us build it. It was easy to build. I definitely recommend you go out and buy one. Product. Catch us next say. video.